County. We're at uh, Raven County High School today, and uh, I'm really happy that we're here with Coach Jay Bo Shaw. Yes, sir. Who goes by Coach Jay. Yes, sir. For those of you that don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Coach, you're not only the coach of the varsity football program, but mm -hmm. you're also the athletic director for the school, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm very, very blessed, very humbled um, that I get to be around our student athletes, be around our kids every day and, and serve this great community. And, you know, it means a lot to me. I'm, I'm from here and uh, just very blessed I get to come here and work each day. Yeah, it, uh, you can sense that you love what you do mm -hmm. and it's nice to do what you love. Absolutely, <laughs> there is no doubt about it. Um, you mentioned being from Raven County, but do you mm -hmm. mind just sharing your personal story? Yeah, so uh, for the you that do, do not know, obviously my parents and, and grandparents, aunts, uncles, everybody's from Raven County. And uh, I only went to school here one year uh, in my sixth grade year. I still remember it. It's the old Clayton Elementary um, in, in town. And, uh, you know, I have great memories from there. And my mom teaching at South Raven, um, obviously my dad coaching here for Sonny Smart and been here a couple of times, but just the memories that, that I have of coming back uh, and growing up here on Pinnacle and uh, being in that Pinnacle house and still having very, very fond memories of playing in the creek and doing all that stuff. Um, I knew it was very important to me that, you know, I was, I would come back here one day and uh, you know, got to coach with my dad before he retired. And uh, this place is very, very special to me, even though, again, I only went to school here one year, um, but it'll always be home. Like I said, my whole family's from here. Uh, my wife's from here and you know her family's from here. So just really, really uh, blessed again that I get to, I get to serve Raven County and, and uh, try and represent it the, the right way. Yeah, absolutely. Um the goals for the program mm -hmm. kind of writ large across the athletics. You know, there's so many challenges that probably face the student athlete with academics. There's social, you know, pressures yeah. and activities, and and then you know the core athletics. How do you how do you work with sort of the student athletes to to balance all that, and what are you trying to deliver to them in the way of sort of messages and values and well, I think the number one thing is hiring great coaches. Uh, and you know, one, our administration is unbelievable uh, with Dr. Childers and Kelly McKay and, and Jonathan Gibson as our superintendent and assistant superintendents. And then, you know, Mr. Spillers and Mr. Franco and Mr. Blair with the administration here at the high school. Um, it starts there and uh, then they give us the tools to be able to go hire great coaches, hire great people, number one, and uh, to be able to have role models. Uh, male and female, and I think that's where it starts, is putting people in place that care about young people and that want to see young people succeed and uh, and serve a community and serve those kids and serve a high school. So I think it starts there. And then, you know, the I guess, you know, really the second thing is, you know, trying to mold our young people into, into great, People of society, great people of our community, uh, male and female, just being able to go out and be, you know, great husbands, great, great wives, great mothers, great fathers one day, and just being able to see our coaches be those things uh, as an example, as a role model type, and then just helping give give those young people those tools to go do it. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, obviously we want to win championships. Um, you know, everything that we do, we want to win a championship and then ultimately go win, win a state championship. And I think if you ask every one of our coaches, um, they want to win, they want to win a lot. They want to win often. And, uh, you know, if they, if they didn't want to do that, then they wouldn't be at Raven County because it, it matters to them and it matters to our people in our community. And they want to see Raven County represented the way that it should be represented. And, uh, just, I think that's where it starts. And, uh, you know, we, our coaches, myself, we take care of that number one thing about keeping the, keeping the kids priority number one and want to see them succeed. The rest of the stuff will fall into place and in due time we'll reap what we sow. And, uh, you know, just very, very thankful that I get to go to work with all these coaches uh, in all these sports, middle school to high school, 
just very, very thankful that I get to, uh, I get to be a part of it. You, you have a lot on your plate, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, that you're working with the staff, the yeah. coaching staff, you're probably making the hiring decisions as it relates to that. And, and then that development for the professional individual. Yeah. And then you're kind of always involved with the students and mm -hmm. the athletes at some level. And then, you know, in addition to that, you've got kind of the football program yeah. as well. So that's a, that's a pretty full plate, my yes. friend. It is, uh, <laughs> it's tough at times, um, but like I said, I, I absolutely love what I do. Uh, and what it boils down to is being around young people and seeing them succeed. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot to juggle at times, but this community is unbelievable about having somebody's back and, and uh, circling the wagons and, and uh, just want to see everybody be great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like anything, there's always going to be, you know, brothers, sisters, you know, the button heads and all that stuff. But, you know, to me, I think it pushes everybody when that happens. I think it pushes everybody to be great. And, uh, you know, I think it's it's just a very unique thing that we have in Raven County that, you know, we are tough. We don't take anything from anybody and uh, we're going to represent Raven County the way it should be represented. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed that I've got great coaches, um, like I said, that I get to go to work with. So they handle, you know, each head coach and the assistant coaches from high school to middle school do a great job of running their program, mm -hmm. uh, of keeping kids first, and then want to be successful, want to see their players be successful, and uh, you know we've just got a we got a special thing going. Yeah, you you probably have opportunities to communicate, obviously, with student athletes as as well as the parents, but for the community on a larger scale, because we have kind of a, a lot of new folks in yeah. Raven County. What are some ways that the community can support you and, and the student athletes and, and the programs other yeah. than coming out and yeah. <laughs> participating, and right? Games, yeah. Cheering. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the best way is through our booster club. Um, it's Raymond County Athletic Booster Club. It's not just uh, a single sport booster club. So it, it covers all of our high school sports and our middle school sports. And so, um, you know, that's, our booster club is unbelievable. They do an awesome job of, they want to do everything in their power to give our student athletes every chance to be successful. Uh, whether that's top of the line gear or, you know, sending them off to play in some really good tournaments, whatever it may be, our booster club is unbelievable. And they serve Raven County, um, you know, just unbelievably. And I'm very blessed I get to work with them as well because, uh, you know, they uh, they keep Raven County and Raven County student athletes first. Period, yeah. and that's their uh, that's their goal. That's their that's what drives them uh, is that you know keeping them first and seeing them succeed. So being able to uh, you know support us and support our our teams, our coaches, going through the Raven County Athletic Booster Club is obviously you know the best way. Um, and we'll have fundraisers and some th some things coming up now that that school is getting ready to be done in in three four weeks and uh so going into the summer some some teams will start having fundraisers and and getting ready to fundraise for their upcoming season and uh you know being we have different super booster levels within our booster club um so i will uh i'll be glad to you know, probably the easiest way is send a document and you guys can put on maybe yeah, on your website and, and uh, kind of go from there. But um, it kind of lays out all the different levels that you can support at, um, whether it be seats in the stadium. Um, and that's that's not just for uh, football. So that's soccer for, you know, everything that's played in that stadium. You get preferred seating, you know, a chance to have preferred parking and, and some different perks, if you will. Um, by joining the booster club or by supporting the booster club and being a super booster. Right. Um, you know, you get, there's, there's definitely some perks yeah. along with some it. Some cool swag, I'm yes. guessing. Some, yes. Somewhere in there in the mix is cool, cool Absolutely. gear. I'm looking around coach's office and he's got some cool <laughs> stuff. It's a treat for me to be in here. Um, uh, so we are going to put some of that on our website to include the schedule. Yes. But, um, where can folks go in terms of your official sites and or social media sites to, you know, to yeah. get additional information. Yeah, so we've got, when it when it comes to football, we've got our ravenfootball.com uh, yep. website. 
Um, of course, we're, we've got an Instagram account, a Twitter account, and you know, we're all on the social <laughs> media stuff. Uh, I know our high school has a, has a, uh, has a Twitter account and Instagram account as well. Um, so there's, and then our, obviously our Raven County Athletics School website, that'll, that'll have our master uh, uh, sports calendar, um, which, you know, during the spring when you have so many different sports going on, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun for our community because there's always some, whether it's a Monday night or a Thursday night, if you're looking for something to just take your kids out to or whatever, yeah, we're going to most of the time have something going on here on campus. Yeah, there's something on the bulletin board, um, you know, a couple months ago, and I, you know, it said, oh, there's, there's not anything to do for, <laughs> for kids in Raven County. And I'm like, well, <laughs> like, you know, God created a lot for kids to do every day. Yeah. But then to your point, you know, there's something athletically going on where a young person can come out and watch kids Absolutely. probably that are a little bit older, but maybe yeah. the same age or whatever the case may be, their, their peer group. And, uh, you know, great opportunities and, you know, some of that's indoors, yep. obviously, and some of it's outdoors. And so then we got a whole lot of other yeah, stuff going on. No but doubt. yeah, I was like, I don't know. I don't <laughs> think there's a shortage of things to do. There may be a shortage of awareness. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, the facilities are, are incredible. Mm -hmm. um, how is it that you have, uh, uh, you know, gotten to the point that you're as fortunate as you are to have the facilities and which by the way extremely clean <laughs> you, you know uh, I wish I could say the same for the high school that I, that I went to but but not so much but you could tell you put again a lot of pride in the sort of aesthetics the motivation yeah the experience the cleanliness I think it's just you know we ask our kids to be professional and and learn how to be professional and how to have pride in, in things that are yours. And I think, you know, if we don't do that, then, you know, you're, you're kind of just, why, why are you preaching that? You know what I mean? You know, what are you, what are you, when you're not showing them. Um, so we're very, very blessed um, with our school board, with, again, our administration, our community, um, you know, our administration at the high school. They're gonna, they, they have given us all the tools to be successful when it comes to facilities and, giving our young people a chance to succeed. Um, you know, we, we take great pride in it. Um, you know, that, that weight room that every sport uses, that every kid that has weight training uses, you know, there's a sense of pride when you walk in there and you see Raven County, you know, all the dumbbells have our paw on it. You know, everything is Raven County. And I think it just creates a sense of pride and yeah. uh, that, that it's yours, that, uh, you know, we're going to take care of it. We're going to keep it clean. And we're going to keep it professional. And, and uh, same goes for the indoor facility, our basketball gym, you know, all the different athletic facilities we have on campus. You know, those coaches take great pride in keeping it clean. And, and, uh, and then it just trickles down to our players and they take yeah. great pride in it. Uh, of course, having some military experience, I know mm -hmm. inspections are a big mm -hmm. thing. I was just thinking, you know, can, do, can parents ask you to do the staff to do home <laughs> inspections to make sure that the, this adolescent's room is in, a, is, is in a good or shape? <laughs> well, it, it's probably, a, it, you know, it's it may be a fault of mine, but, you know, I am uh, I'm very anal when it comes to that. I, um, you know, I, I coached at Army uh, for about about a year um, I was up there and that was one of the greatest ex experiences of my life is coaching those young men that are serving our country now. Um, and I think that just, you know, the, the guy that I played for uh, in college and, and worked for as well, um, you know, that just, that stuck with me for a long time. And, yeah. You know, that's, uh, that's, you ask our football players, um, you know, what's one of the things that, Coach Jay is going to be uh, honest about it. It's going to be keeping that locker room clean. Yeah. And so it's just, and again, I think it's, you know, it, when you demand stuff like that, it's those little things that's going to continue to grow your program, grow that young man, uh, grow that young female, um, whether, you know, they're running a business one day and they're, they're going to keep it professional. And I think that's just, again, part of us developing the whole kid not just athletically on the field of play. I think that goes into part of, you know, preparing them for life after high school and yeah. life after college. There's a pretty high statistical probability that they're going to be 
an employee, mother, father, mm -hmm. uh, not that greatest yeah. statistical probability that will be a professional athlete, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that, that's really great. What about volunteer opportunities for the community? You talk about boosters, which yeah. is, is sort of activity as well as financial contributions to the yeah. program, but volunteers, do you, do you need them? Yeah, so, you know, we've always, uh, there's always opportunities uh, to help those coaches. You know, if you're a, a parent that's, you know, maybe a soccer parent or volleyball, softball, football, tennis, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. um, if your son or daughter is a part of that, that team, or if you're just a person in the community that is tied to a sport that you want to be involved in, there are definitely some volunteer opportunities. Um, it may not necessarily be coaching. It could be, could not be. Um, right. There is different ways to, uh, it's, it's basically called a community coach where you're not necessarily employed by our school system, but you're a community coach. Um, there's some sports that we have those opportunities for. And then there's always, you know, I, I guarantee you, if you ask our coaches, if, if they would love to have some volunteers to help, um, you know, they would, they would jump all over it. And, uh, I do ask if anybody would like to volunteer, uh, please email me first and, and kind of go through that so we can, I can give you the correct information on the best way to the, the next steps to go through it. Yeah. But yes, uh, volunteer and, and I think you know seeing our young people seeing our people in our community uh, getting involved I mean I think that's very powerful yeah. I think that that also shows them a sense of pride that our people in our community um, have for Raven County High School and the pride that they have for our athletics no matter the sport no matter what it may be I think it's very important yeah um, and uh, as I mentioned, being a realtor, uh, we work with people that are looking to, you know, uh, move to Raven County yeah. all the time, and and many of them have, you know, uh, school age children. Yeah. What What would be? You've already talked about this a good bit, but what's your message to them about what they can expect in terms of again that student athlete experience here? Yeah. At Raven I, County High. I think the number one thing is, you know, you're going to join a family. Um, and I, I don't think a lot of people can say that everywhere and, and family is thrown around so cliche sometimes, um, just like, you know, the word love. I think that's so easy to throw out and, and, and not have a lot of meaning behind it. But when you say family here at Raven County and when our coaches tell that young people, I love you and I hope you do awesome, there's some meaning behind it and there's some emotional uh, connection as far as wanting the coach wanting that kid to be the best kid that they can be and uh, whether that's going to play college sports or going to, to college to graduate um, I just think you know that that family aspect that we have here uh, is very very special and when our coaches talk about family they mean it like you know for instance our you know, in our football program, you know, we use the family, probably every, the word family every day. And uh, to us, that stands for forget about me, I love you. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, the sense of, I want to see you succeed just as much as I want to succeed. And uh, I think that's something special that we have going on. And, uh, you know, I tell multiple people when I go speak or whatever it may be that, um, you're going to get coached hard here at Raven County, no matter the sport. There's it, a lot's going to be demanded, and you know a lot's going to be put on your young child. But you're going to your your child's going to be know that they're loved just as hard. And uh, I don't think a lot of people find that everywhere. And uh, I think it's just we've got something special going on here at Raven County High School as far as our athletics and in the schoolhouse and in our athletics and, and academics. There's just great communication, great, uh, great care for that student athlete and just that student. And, uh, you know, it's wanting to see young people succeed. So, um, I promise you, you, you'll have, uh, if it's a new family and they're wanting to be a part of Raven County high school, you know, you're going to have your family in Raven County and then you're going to have another family wherever you came from. So, um, you know, as long as you care about Raven County and wanting, want Raven County to be great, um, we have great people in our community that will take care of you. Yeah. 
Well, I'm, I'm a relative newcomer to the community, but certainly on, on behalf of Rabin County and all that benefit, who's pretty much, I think everyone, from your professionalism, dedication, just discipline and commitment to the kids, like yeah. you said, first and foremost, and it being genuine and you putting some action behind some of those yeah. you know, terms that we do tend to throw around loosely. I'd like to con congratulate you, you one for your success, but thank you for Absolutely. all of that because uh, it's making a, a huge difference in the community and you can see it in those young people yeah. and those that participate in your programs and it, it's a it's a difference maker it's just another blessing yeah. uh raven county's got a a, a rich <laughs> uh number of blessings right sort of yes. an embarrassment of riches if you will to yeah. some degree but thank you well, for everything I, you're I, doing i appreciate it thank you very much it's my pleasure coach if uh or i'm sorry uh folks if you haven't uh been out to uh raven county high school seen the facilities uh attended some of the events, talked to some of the young people that are student athletes, um, then you uh, have missed an opportunity to participate in that family. And so I'm fired up right now. I want to volunteer. <laughs> I want to do everything but uh, play because I'm pretty sure that wouldn't last very long. Me either. You cut me, yeah, you cut me in a hurry. But uh, so check out uh, the Booster Club like coach talked about, maybe consider volunteering, even if you don't have yeah. um, uh, kids that are attending one of the schools and uh, then visit some of the, the social media or the athletic department of football programs website so that you know what's going on in terms of athletic events and those sorts of things. Perfect. We're also hoping maybe we can get out and participate in some other events. So there may be some sequels to this, this little feature. We've got uh, we got spring practice coming up starting on Friday. Um, so that's always kind of, it's exciting to get back out there on the practice field. And, and uh, you know, so that's coming up and it'll, it'll be exciting. And we'd love to have you guys come out and watch practice, film a little bit. Be awesome. So, Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing, man. You're welcome. All right. We'll see you next time, Raven County. See you guys.